Welcome to Nubu1669 YouTube channel. Today's topic is Meta Platforms. Meta Platforms beat estimates for revenue and profit. And the forecast is for Q3 uh, is an upbeat for the revenue. And then uh, the share has surged in the after office hour. In this video, I'll be presenting from machine learning model. I'll be sharing a technical analysis on Meta Platforms the simple moving average as a 50 days MA period and we'll also be looking at how the meta average directional index ADX look like last year we'll be seeing how the relative strength in the RSI look like for meta and I'll also be sharing the MACD for meta as well as we'll be looking at the buying and the selling strength for meta please like share and subscribe to this channel we appreciate your support to this channel do leave us a comment uh, in the section below and we will welcome all comments uh, to make the channel uh, better. Thank you all for your support and hope to hear from you. Please support my referral. You may sign up using the referral link on my website. Uh, https www.filmboy.com okay, If you want to, to know more stocks and uh, crypto market uh, insights, here is my handle name in these two active online uh, stock brokers that I write my articles. Tiger Brokers and Mumu. Thank you for your attention. Here are the US stock watch list for 1st August 2024. Amazon.com has a buy signal with support and resistance coming in at 185.13 and 187.78 respectively. Meta Platforms has a buy signal of support at 468.96 and resistance at 476.41. Supermicro Computer has a buy signal with support at 693.85 and resistance at 715.64. Now we'll be sharing on the technical analysis using simple moving average SMA 50 days period for Meta platforms which is uh, known as Meta. Meta is trading above the 200 days period but it's a bit below the 50 days period. This is because I think investors remain cautious to its revenue uh, with the uh, selling uh, strength that we've seen over the last few days. But with the earnings that makes the estimate and also a stronger forecast for Q3. We should be seeing Meta trading above the 50 days period for week to come as investors should be gaining, regaining their confidence as well as the strength into buying. Meta has been experiencing selling as seen in the uh, strength as well as the selling strength is not reducing. But the MACD is actually showing a potential uh, bullish crossover just before its earnings. So with the earnings that beat the estimate as well as a forecast for Q3, we should be seeing buying strength coming back and there is a very potential uh, bullish crossover to create a good upside. So I believe that the current price should be a good uh, entry, but if you miss it, then you will have to wait for the uh, price correction. Uh, it may or may not happen uh, over the course of the trading session today. Coming to the technical analysis using the average directional index ADX. Meta ADX is between 20 and 40, indicating a developing trend, but the negative DI above the positive DI it's actually a worry or a concern because it's suggesting a bearish uh, downside. With the earnings that beat the estimates as well as the Q3 forecast upbeat, this should help Meta to move higher into the 40 strong level, uh, I believe, in the coming weeks as uh, investors' interest and confidence should come back and we should be seeing more uh, buying on the side of the share. Now coming to the technical analysis using the relative strength index RSI. Meta RSI is in the safe zone but it's making a move towards the overbought region but it's quite, pretty quite far away. With the earnings that beat the estimate as well as their Q3 forecast upbeat, we should be seeing traders and investors coming back um, into the holding long position as well as into 
buying interest. This should help to push the price higher over the next few weeks. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. We appreciate your support to this channel. Do leave us a comment uh, in the section below and we will welcome all comments uh, to make the channel uh, better. Thank you all for your support and hope to hear from you. Disclaimer, this video is only for technical education purpose. The result does not promote or recommend any investment or trading uh, action. Okay, please do your own uh, due diligence when you're doing the investment.